Today's adventure brings us to Gatlinburg, Tennessee to Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies, which is not only my personal favorite, but looks as if it's been rated the best in the U.S. My goal today after stepping inside is to not only meander around, but also do some of the extra special add-on things that can be done on site. All right, enough talk. Let's do this. Join me. Shall you? Starting off with the red belly piranha. Watch out, kids. Don't get too close. This stingray is having a staring contest. By the way, Michael from NTL Vlogs is here. There is a piece of glass separating the two of us, but that iguana up there is just chilling, just hanging out up on the rock. They were taught to go one particular direction, except that guy. He didn't do any, okay, now he's going the right way. Don't get too close to that thing. It's a scorpion fish. Here comes another one. This thing's very, very prickly. A little public behind the scenes of the filtration system. By peeking down, you can get a glimpse of some of the mechanics and how they work. Noticing over here, this particular creature looks like a spider of sorts. Looks like a, almost like a daddy long leg of the sea. This tank has a waterfall that gives it water. It cycles around and then back up and then falls back down just to keep it all fresh. There's some very large fish down in that thing. Not something you would see in the wild inside a tree trunk. Some aquatic life, but they are here at the Ripley's Aquarium. Get a look deep down into there. Oh, there's a catfish. The catfish down there on the bottom, near the rocks. Oh, he heard me. It's coming forward. One could lose track of time just standing here staring at these beautiful creatures, peacefully meandering around the waterway. Just to give a little perspective of what I was just looking into, that's a large, that's a very large tank. There are a few seahorse in here, but look at the one that looks like a plant. It's kind of nodding its head. Look at that thing, that's amazing. That's a fish. Whoa, look up there. It's a shark up top. I'm safe and sound inside this tube, however. They're everywhere. Right above my head. Oh my goodness. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Incoming. Incoming. You'll notice on the surface is a glass bottom boat, which I will be boarding a little bit later. But pretty much from any angle, it is impressive. Most impressive. Look at this guy. Always vlogging. Always NTL vlogging. That's Nemo right there. And then there's a rope bridge, and above the rope bridge is a, a skeletized version. I don't know, what is that? Or like a, it's like a prehistoric crocodile of sorts. Very beautiful. Oh, look up here. Looks like he's having a bad day. Looks like he hasn't had his, his coffee yet. I get that way sometimes. You fellas know what I'm talking about. If you don't have your double shot, you get a little, little Crabby, a recreation of the Edmund Fitzgerald down here, and you can see what happened. Look into the look into the windows there. Completely submerged in every possible way. These stingrays are no joke. They're probably like four feet wide, and not that's not even including the tail. It's hard to get the perspective, but these things are huge. We now have tickets for the penguin encounter. I have to ask you, have you ever held a real live penguin? Absolutely in your hand? not. Me either. It's about to happen. I'm very excited. Me too. I'm I like penguins. You? I love them. I they're love like them. They're so cool. They have a great exhibit too. You probably see right now. We'll do that after. We'll see. We'll see the penguins through the through the glass first. I'm gonna touch them. I get to. Both of them. Penguins, and this is Mr. Joe. You'll hear you'll hear us call him Jojo, or Jojo. Hey. He's fixing his feathers. He knows what's about to happen. 
Um, so he is an African black-footed penguin. That means he is a warm weather bird. Uh, so you don't have to worry about this room being too hot for him. It's actually a little chilly in here for him, um, but it'll be okay for this 30-minute encounter. It's an on the ottoman point. Really cool. Okay. I'll do good. Okay. Sounds good. Getting ready. Afraid of me, Joe. It's okay. Did you touch his wing? Oh. Almost. He almost hit his wings. So his wings are made of. He tried to fly out of there with his wings. Oh, yeah. He's not feet at all. He's. I like his ducks when we do it. It's kind of. Yeah. His wings are. You know how we tread water and we kind of do this? So when they're treading water. They'll lose their feet, but when they want to be possible. How old do they live? Mid-teens, 20th and the latest. Wow. Normally about mid-teens, they slow down and get caught by predators. Uh, they live longer than that. Right, they don't have predators, they get a bit busy. Here's a shot of the Stingray Lagoon from the second floor. You see underwater and on the surface all in one shot. This is just so dang cool. Whoa. Remember earlier when I was in the shark tank from below? Well, now it's time to go above the glass bottom boat adventure. It's happening. You can see the tube down there and you can see, you can see the sharks swimming around. So close you could Reach out and touch it if you so choose. It's frowned upon. Notice how everyone's moving to the opposite side. I don't blame them. Wonder if anyone going through that tunnel has ever seen Jaws 3. Maybe. Peering over this rock formation. Those are very, very close. There's a fin sticking out of the water. Oh my gosh, that's just like in the movie. There's another one coming in hot. Oh wow! They love showing fin. Here show me, is. show me some fin. Wow! Da 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 da. He's not camera shy. Not at all. Can't touch the sharks, but you can reach out and pet a stingray. Next voyage is mine, right after this one. A little bit easier for you to see our beautiful animals that are down there, like that big shark. Oh. Thank you very much. All right, guys, welcome aboard the glass bottom boat on Shark Lagoon. We do have 18 full-grown sharks in here. We have 12 sand tigers, three nurse sharks, two sandbars, and one black tip reef. Guys, you are sitting on 750,000 gallons of man-made salt water. I say man-made because, well, we're not near the ocean and Home Depot won't sell us a hose. All the coral and everything in here is all that's not swimming around under its own power is made out of uh, plaster, cement, and latex. That is one of our sand tigers that just swam under us. That was a female. Now, the reason 
reason we don't have any live coral in here is number one, it's illegal to harvest it from the oceans. And number two, if we were to grow it in here with the amount that we have, it would take about 300,000 years. And we don't have quite that long. Guys, if y'all look down below us, you're going to see the most dangerous animals in the entire exhibit here in just a minute. I'm sure some more will pop up. We call these the people fish. You're going to notice a yellow fish with black stripes running down its face. It is called a pork fish. Right? The reason for that being is when the males want to show dominance and they get angry at each other, they inflate their swim bladders, grind their teeth up against it, and it sounds like a pig oinking. That is one of our three nurse sharks. They're the only shark in this tank that does not have to move its entire life to be able to breathe. All the other sharks, they do. That is a male sand tiger right there. Now this right here is Miss Lucy. She is one of our two sawfish. She is our heaviest fish at 6,700 pounds. She is not little. You guys, that nose that you see on the end of her is called a rod strum. It is made out of a substance called keratin, which in case you didn't know, that's the same stuff that your hair and fingernails are made out of. So it has no monetary value. But due to people thinking that that nose looks like an awesome trophy, they have been overfished to the point where there's only about 4,000 of them left in the wild. There's one of our male sand tigers. She is our smallest, prettiest, fastest, most curious, and feisty shark that we have. She will take out a fish. You don't care if it's having a good day, bad day. Uh, just sit, dying, it don't matter. She'll take it out for the fun of it. Now right down here is our only female nurse shark. That's speckles, or at least I like to call her that because those two white spots on her fin. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Now guys, you notice how the bottom one's I mean, a little bit slower than the top one? Uh, it's because that top one's in a little doze. It's sleeping. You are safe to get off. <laughs> <laughs> These seven foot jaws contain 173 feet belonging to the supersized Megalodon. Now there is no way to tell metamorphic male apart by just looking at these animals. So we actually have to take their blood and count their chromosomes. So our males are the ones who deliver uh, bands on the right wing, and our females are the ones who deliver bands on the left. Uh, also, these birds can't live in the trees in the 20s after a while. Luckily, here we can double or triple our last family. Wow. So our oldest bird is 25, his name is Elvis. The oldest bird ever lived in the city of Elvis, he's a little bit 45. So his name was Sylvester, and he was up in the Johnson Zoo, so he's an hour away from here. Now, some of you guys might have noticed that there are some birds in that look like having a very, very bad feather day. Um, that's what they are. Uh, they actually are going through their first time, or they're going through their cash off and molt. So these birds will go through a molt once a year, to, uh, usually around their birthday, where they lose all their feathers and they grow them back in two, uh, two weeks to three weeks period. Picked up our photo ops, and this one, I'm giving the thumbs up, sitting closest to the penguin, and then over here, Michael, he's pointing directly at it, and the penguin is staring at staring at it like it's a it's some kind of a meal he's going to take a bite out of his finger but that's that's a some little documentation for posterity that's going to do it for today if you're new here please subscribe it helps keep you in the loop and updated on future endeavors i will be going on as well as uploads on this channel and i'll put a link in the description box to michael from ntl vlogs channel tell him i said hello i'll see you guys in the next video i'm pretty happy I came out from the shark lagoon unscathed. No, you didn't. I didn't? Oh, what the mm. heck? Vlog? Over.